right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is Brother Abaya Israel, or Abaya Yasha Allah, um, bringing up these precepts in spirit and truth and sincerity. Um, first and foremost, I want to give all praise to the Most High Yahweh, Baha Shem, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. A uh, quick Shalom to all the brethren and sisters out uh, there that's uh, keeping the laws and the faith. Um, uh, Spirit is leading me to bring out precepts as it pertains to false prophets, man. False prophets, they everywhere, especially in the Christian church. But believe it or not, man, in the truth too. Crazy as it may seem, but I mean, those of us that's in the truth, we know that um, the same way we had infiltrators back in, um, uh, back when the, when the scripts were being lived. Uh, outside of the prophecies that we in now, because uh, the Bible is, I, I don't like when people say back in the Bible days, so I'm trying to worry about, right, because we still living in Bible days, because a lot of the um, the prophecies haven't come to pass yet, especially the main ones, as in uh, Armageddon, as in uh, Mark of the Beast, as in Sh Shemaiah, right, so we still living in prophetic times, especially now with the coronavirus, the wildfires, uproars of the people, uh, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, um, and like I said, false prophets. Um, I'm gonna start off with um, John, First John four and one. All right, we'll start off in First John chapter four and verse one. It says. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Right? You got to try these people that keep on uh, trying to bring you their version of the scriptures. If they're not showing you in scripture what thus says the Most High, according to scripture, beware of those people. Because you'd be surprised how many people um, bring out scripts for financial gain. Um, they profess to be uh, real men of the Lord, but at the same token, they turn around and, and do everything that the wicked are doing. Right? Back when I was in the world and I was going to church, I saw that firsthand. Same people that was telling you come and you know what I'm saying get baptized and you know do all the other stuff for the church. They were doing everything I was doing in the streets. They just hid, it. right? They fronted like they was holier than thou, when actually they were not. Right? Uh, let me go over that script again, cause a lot of people don't understand what uh, what's being written right here in First John. Check this out. Start over. It says, be loved. So, who is this talking to? Who is this speaking to? Who is the beloved of the Most High? All right. Show you. In the Apocrypha. All right. It's the book of Baruch. Verse 36, it says, He hath found out all the way of knowledge and hath given it unto Jacob, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. All right? So when you get to Paul writings and you see to my beloved or, you know what I mean, it say beloved, just know he's speaking to Israel. All right? For God so loved the world, the world of Israel, his beloved. Okay? So, we need to get that understanding, right? Like I said, many false prophets, man, many false prophets. And like I said, not all, not only in the world, right, because we all know Sesha Borgia is not the Messiah, but you got people out there that's pushing that they don't matter if you worshiping Sesha Borgia as God. You got people out there, out there that say Christ is God, meaning he's the most high. 
right? That's that's not that's not the truth. That's so far from the truth, right? But let's get some understanding of the, these different characteristics of these false prophets that you need to be aware of, right? Uh, go to Second Peter. Two and one. Uh, hold up, slot. Slot, y'all. Slot, man. Sorry, excuse me. But Second Peter chapter two, verse one. It says, "But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false." teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies even denying Yahweh that brought that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction right now I'm finna break down this what I just read the script I just read right it says but there were false prophets also among the people so this ain't no new thing been around you can go back to Jeremiah um, well, the Messiah, uh, the Most High, rather, said, who are these prophets? I'm paraphrasing, of course, but it's saying, who are these prophets that's prophesying lies in my name? Right? They say, I have uh, I have dreamed, I have dreamed, and the Most High haven't given them a vision. Right? So this ain't nothing new. Everything that's going on now, it been happening. Scripture say in uh, Ecclesiastes, right? And there's no new thing under the sun. Same thing we're going through today. We went through in the past, and we still going to go through it in the future. It's just going to elevate until the time we get out, right? But it says, even as there shall be false teachers among you. So it's going to be people that's going to be trying to teach you things, but it ain't the truth, right? Just like you got these pastors that's trying to teach you that God loves everybody, but Scripture don't say that. You got these pastors that say, um... Well, you know, however you however you see Christ, it don't matter, right? Because love is love. And, you know, as long as you believe he existed and he died and rose for you, then it's all good, which is a lie, according to John 7 and 38. You got to worship the Most High and his Son as it is written. Otherwise, you spewing out lies, bro. Right? It says, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. That word privily, right? People read through that and they don't get what that means. Privily means in secret or crafty. So it says, who secretly shall bring in damnable heresies. Heresies means a personal opinion, right? So, secretly, they're bringing you their personal opinion about how they feel the scriptures, uh, or how they feel what the scriptures mean and what they say. Well, you can just read it as it is and it'll give you, like, clear as day exactly what it's talking about, right? And I know... I already know a lot of people get butt hurt when they hear the truth about how the Most High feel about his people and how the Most High feel about other nations. But guess what? Tough titty. It is what it is. Right? Thus says the Most High in Isaiah 55 and 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Most High. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. And you stop trying to think like the Most High. People always say, why would the Most High create something just to hate it? Why would the Most High create something just to destroy it? Okay, with that understanding, why do people create paper plates? Why do people create plastic cups and forks? Why do they create oil and gas? That stuff don't last forever. You put gas in your car, you drive, it's gone. 
You put oil in the fryer, you cook enough times, it's gone. It's the same reason, man. It's made for a purpose. Everything is made for a purpose. The most I give you the purpose, all you got to do is read the scripts. Stop leaning to your own understanding, man. Otherwise, you'll be led to destruction. Right? Back to 2 Peter. Right? It says, Even denying Yahweh that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. See, a lot of people don't understand when you deny, thus says the Most High, you're denying Yahweh and you leaning into a false god. When you say, well, now nah, my God wouldn't do that, you're right. Your God wouldn't do that, but the God of Israel, the power of Israel, the power of Yahshua Allah that you pick up this book and read about, he will. He kills and he makes alive. He has a chosen people, has a chosen flower, <laughs> has a chosen river, all of that. All right? So you are absolutely correct. Your God wouldn't do that. Sasha Borgia wouldn't do that. Guess who Sasha Borgia actually is? Hasha Tom, Satan, man. And y'all serving him and don't even know it. All right? Verse 2 in 2 Peter, 2 Peter 2 and 2, it says, And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Guess what pernicious means? Destructive. You will be led to destruction. Jeremiah 23, man. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter my sheep. Y'all being destroyed, man. Like I said, not just in the not just in the church, bro, in the truth too. Man, you got you got you got people in the truth, man, that say John the Baptist was not in the truth. John the Baptist? Are you serious? <laughs> How can you, bro? Let me read something right quick, man. Hold up, man. One second. Let me read something. For that nonsense. For that nonsense, though, man. I get it. In the truth, too, man. That's the crazy part. In the truth, too. Let's say, well, well they in some form of the I guess if you ain't, I can't say they in the truth. So I don't think I can say it. They in, the, they in the lie. Just like Christianity. Just like Roman Catholicism. Just like Baptist, just like Pentecostal, bro. Y'all in the whole life, you believe in that. Let me read this to you, man. This is Matthew 11 and 7. It says, And as they departed, Yahweh shall begin to say unto the multitudes concerning John, yes, John the Baptist. It says, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaking with the winds? And you're like, What y'all go out there for? Right? You know how we talk. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you. What the problem is, man? What you. Like you, you go somewhere, something happened, and you act like you didn't know it was gonna happen. Like what, what? What's the issue? What you go out there for? You already knew what it was. What you go for? All right? This how this how the, the Messiah talked to the people. That's how you know he is, man. Check what he said. He said, "But what ye out? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in kings' houses." All right. So he's saying, "What you went out there to see, man?" Did you go out there to see some pretty rigged dude, man? Some king, royal type dude? What y'all thought, man? Then do, don't y'all know the scripts? What y'all go out there to see? All right? Malachi, what y'all go out there to see, man? Y'all read Malachi just like I did. All right? It says, uh, verse 9, it says, But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. Hey man, all you Israelites that believe John the Baptist wasn't in the truth, man. Hey man, shame on you, bro. Y'all tripping the strong way. I'm talking about something so serious. That man got beheaded, bro. That man got beheaded for their word. What you talking about? Right? Check yourself, bro. And if you run, if you run with, if you run with that account, bro. If you run with them Israelites who believe that, bro. Hey man, get the hell out before it's too late. Tell them they leading you to destruction, bro. All right. But back to the topic at hand, man. I just had to put that out there. That's crazy. That's nonsense. That's buffoonery and coonery. All right. Let's say 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, destructive ways. All right. 
by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Right, so all these different pastors out here, man, they they rationally look at us like, like we devils, bro. Like I had, I'm talking about a relative of mine, real close to, told me I'm bringing forth doctrines of devils. I like, I, I rationally laugh because it was funny to me, because I'm bringing everything I'm saying and believing through the scripture, right? But it, it dude can't produce, he can't produce not one script to back up his point. True enough, yeah, okay. I was in church back when I was in the world. I did my little stint, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I started to take it serious, but like I said, I found out it was fake. It wasn't real. I ain't finna be around no folk that ain't real. Especially when I find out your doctrine ain't real. Your doctrine ain't real, bro. We done. We ain't got no more to talk about. You can get the hell out of my face, too. Hey, hey, hey. I don't care how long I know you. I don't care how long I've known you. It doesn't matter. You can get the hell away from me because I'm trying to live. And you ain't living for me. You understand that? And I got people that looking look for me to be the best I can be. So bump what you talking about. You keep moving. Take it take it to um, Pastor Poach up on Sunday morning. Right? Take it to Pastor Bishop, Bishop Shrimp Cabal. You take it to him, man. I ain't studying. All right, verse 3. And through covetousness, meaning you looking at everybody else and what they doing, right? Wanting what they got. It says, shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you? Feigned. Fictitious. Feigned means fictitious. Lies. With lying words. Right? They making merchandise of you. They getting paid. Up. I ain't seen a pastor yet that don't take up no tithes and offerings. I ain't seen a pastor yet. <laughs> Name me a church that don't collect no funds from the congregation. One. Name me one. It's a uh, whose judgment now that's a it says whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not in their damnation, slumbereth not. So, so let me plug this up. One second. Okay. So, just because they feel like the coronavirus just gonna pass on and all the other nonsense and craziness that's going on on the earth is gonna get better. It is not. This place is on the decline. It ain't gonna get better. It's absolutely gonna get worse. <laughs> Straight like this. And we pray for it. Those of us that's in the truth, man, we pray for this thing every day, all day. We tired of going to work for our enemies, man, that treat us like trash and pay us like we still slaves. We, we literally going to work to stay in debt. We go to school to stay in debt. How you go to school for a thing and can't get a job in the thing you went to school for and you still got to pay student loans? Man, we tired of that, bro. We tired of being broke, oppressed, downtrodden, and minoritized. We tired of all of that, bro. If you cool with it, that's on you. This your kingdom. All right. Uh, false prophets, man. <laughs> First Timothy four and one. First Timothy four and one. Man, y'all got some. I'm gonna have some explaining to do when kingdom come, man. All this truth being out here all this time, man. This is the push of a button, and you choosing to believe a lie for a filthy lucre's sake, man. Shame on you. Woe be to you. Thus said the Most High. All right. So First Timothy four and one it says, "Now the Spirit speaketh expressly." That in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. All right now, this is, um, like I said, this is in ancient days. It's antiquity right here. So, it was already understood. Follow the laws, believe in the Messiah. That was the big, the big tussle, the big to do when it comes to like the New Testament after the Gospels. Following Christ or not, a lot of our people chose not to. 
they didn't want to believe that the Messiah was the Messiah, but he did so many awesome things. Uh, how could you deny that, man? Like it spoke of in Luke, man, he did so many things that if they were to write a book about it, man, it'd, it'd be too much. All right? So, in a lot of times, we there now. He's, he's, he's speaking about a lot of times in the book, bro. Speaking about false prophets in the book. Speaking about Antichrist in the book. Speaking about the end of days in the book. And all this stuff that's going on now, we there. You just going to have to deal with it, man. Get down and lay down. All right? It says that in a lot of times, sons shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Doctrines of devils. Devil meaning deceiver. Devil meaning liar. False prophets. All right? Let's see what this true doctrine that we're supposed to be following. That these people telling you not to follow. Pay attention, man. Look, this Proverbs 4 and 2. Book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 2. It says, For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Bruh, you can't get more simple and plain than that. So if you got people that's telling you don't follow the laws, hey, they lying. They are false prophets and they leading you to destruction. It's too late in the game to not be reading, man. You rather be entertained. That's your problem. You want to be entertained. Somebody got to be dunking for you and crossing over for you and singing for you and acting for you. No, man. No. It's, we passed that. We beyond that. Right? Oh, man. What they call that thing is in Rome. The, um, like, uh, what the name is? Spartacus and all that. The, with the arenas. Whatever it's called. Get out. <laughs> Get your head. That man, party over, man. Right? Take off the little, the little, Point ahead, take that off the little blow thing, put it down. Cut the music off. All right, put down the look in the blunts. All right, women, stop twerking. Okay, dudes, put your pants up, gird, or gird yourself, gird up thy loins. All right, party over, man. Get serious. Damn, don't y'all see what's going on in the world? Y'all think it just happening on some by chance stuff? No. It's getting real out here. So it behooves you to get real too. All right. Let's get some more of this, this um this doctrine that we're supposed to be following. All right. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4. Second Timothy 4, 3 says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. <clears throat> they ain't going to listen to nothing that these scriptures got to say. But check what they're going to do. It says, But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Hmm. Okay. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Christianity is a damn fable, man. It's a lie, bro. Straight like that. It's been, it's been debunked time and time and time and time again. Islam, are you in there too? You trash too. You've been debunked as well. Right? You, you, Islam ain't nothing but a bite off of uh, Hebrew Israelites from antiquity. Muhammad was a white man. Do your research, you think. I'm lying. Do your research. All right. It says, And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. What's the truth? Psalm 119. All right. Psalm 119. 
Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth, and thy law is the truth. They're telling you it's done away with, no, it's not. How you going to tell somebody the laws are done away with, then fix your mouth to ask somebody for some tithes and offerings? Man, everybody in church. And that they has a pastor that's telling you the laws are done away with. You need to read up on the laws. Go to Deuteronomy. Go to Leviticus. And read up on tithes and offerings. Then go back to church. And don't get that man Jack. Because he said laws are done away with. Tell your pastor to go, get off his ass and go get a job. Go clock in and his nine to five just like you do and pay the bills in the church. Since he wanna be a pastor so bad. Right? You want you you wanna drive a Cadillac in the bed so bad, go take your ass to the plant. They paying real good though though. See if you still got time to do Sunday service. You got light messed up. Right? Look, Galatians four sixteen. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? It is what it is. <laughs> I still love you because I'm supposed to because thus says the most high. All right? That's the issue with our people. We don't follow these laws. If we follow these laws, a lot of our problems will be done. But a remnant of us are. So it's all good. All right? We ain't tripping it out. Let me see. So I almost said. Okay, yeah. So like I said, y'all don't want to follow the laws. It's all good, all great. Y'all want to keep being wicked, keep doing what you want to do instead of just said the most high that's on you. It's all good, it's all great. But at the end of the day, just know, a remnant going to be saved. 144,000 elect of elect and one-third elect of Yashallah. The rest of you two-thirds and the rest of you heathen nations, because actually, if you are um, still in that, if you in that two third number, you basically a heathen. You basically still a, you still a gentile. Your mind is gone. Right? It's too late for you to get out. You too far gone. All right? But check this out. This Proverbs twenty one and eighteen: The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous, and the transgressor for the upright. So, most high will and I make it in them. Most high will and my family make it in them. My wife and my bond, right? My Akim and my Akwakim, right? The elders that paved the way for us, that the Spirit landed on to show us what time it is in these scripts. Most I willing, we make it in there. And for everybody else, I appreciate your sacrifice. <laughs> Straight like that. Like I said, man, hey, pay attention, man. Watch and pray because that time is drawing now. It ain't going to get no better. It's not going to get no better. You want to know why? Because we waking up. And the more we wake up, the more these curses leave off of us. And they go on these other nations. Right? And once you get to a certain level of these curses, leave, curses leaving off of us and get to these other nations, that's when them plays kick in. That's when them trumpets get to blown. And they've been blown. And they're kicking in. So guess what that means? We waking up more and more every day, so you need to get in that number. All right? Leave you with this, man. Well, two more scripts, man. Two more scripts in the month. This dragged on a bit longer than I thought, but hey, all praise to the most high by Hashem and myself. Y'all was shocked. This is what he wanted it to be. All right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, and verse 7. And the most high, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of, of Yahweh, and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. All right? That's what we're doing. And that's all that's, that's all that's important to us at the end of the day, for real, for real, is making sure we're doing thus says the most high, because we have this understanding. Check this. This Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High 
and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's it. That's your purpose of being. You wonder why you put on here, put here on this earth? Hey, and ain't to chase no damn dollar that could crash tomorrow and look like it might. Okay. And with that, I call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Abba Ha Abba Ha Malak Shalom Alakim Yahweh by Hashem Hamashiach Hamalak Yahweh Shah. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Abad Abad. Abanawa Yahweh by Hashem Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Yasha Yasha Allah. Shalom, Yasha Allah. Stay up.